What we're talking about when we talk about medical malpractice is any injury that involves negligence by a hospital employee or medical care provider that causes substantial catastrophic injury to a person. And it can arise in surgery, it can be a misdiagnosis, it can be maltreatment in the hospital or clinic itself. Just because someone has a bad outcome does not mean there was medical negligence. So it's our obligation, our burden of proof, if you will, to prove what the standard of care is. And then we have to prove that a doctor departed or fell below that standard of care. We have to prove that that caused damage. So you can have a doctor that is negligent and commits malpractice, but if you can't connect that to the damages, then you don't have a case. Critical issue in any medical malpractice case is to establish what the law calls proximate cause or legal cause between the injury and the damages that result and some action that's in violation of the duty of care. And that causation has to be very meticulously proved. There are really three elements in a medical malpractice case. You have to prove the doctor was negligent, then you have to connect it from a causation standpoint that negligence actually caused damages, then you have to prove actual damages. I have practiced law in the state of Tennessee for over 33 years, and in that time, I've handled countless cases that have involved medical malpractice. I've tried dozens of cases involving medical malpractice and won many of them. What we're looking to do with our practice here is to hold people accountable that don't do their job right. That's why we see this work as so important. It's less about the money and more about making as much right as we can for our clients going forward as humanly possible. If you're in need of a medical malpractice attorney because a loved one or you have been catastrophically injured by a medical professional, give us a call, take action, let's go get some justice.